Sonic, Sonic, Three, two, Sonic from Cena. All right. This is also, uh, is this also another Where's Chorus match? Did, did you, uh, okay. Just making sure you didn't forget to change the stream. So, yep, another best try three here. Again, the cat said uh, previous run-ins with Phoenix out of soccer was able to win with the Fox Blades Triumph with Cena. I guess he's, uh, yeah, we're going to all tournament for the cat. And he's been doing really well so far in the tournament uh, with his character. So, let's see how far he can uh, go against Phoenix is. Uh, normally, though, Cena kind of negates the threat of. Uh, Spin dash with you know these hitboxes. I think it's really just gonna be up to Phoenix to play around that. Just really mix up his approach. Like definitely utilize the spin dash cancels so that uh, the cow will throw out a fair like preemptively trying to like bait out a spin dash and then he can punch the landing from there. And I think that's what he's doing so far. First, the cat did a good job. Keeping Phoenix in uh, general situations. There's one thing uh, Cena can do really well. She has such good uh, aerials that she can take advantage of the fact that Sonic doesn't have the best landing. Oh, yeah. uh, if once your person uses jump and like that spring, like, it's very predictable to see where he's gonna go. Of course, that requires you to, to wait on the ground. Ooh, nice, getting the F smash out of shield. Phoenix looked like he wanted to steal that first stock early with the F smash, but a little bit too hasty. Kind of look threatening off stage there. Uh, luckily, we get too hard punish. I saw him lingering by the smash throw platform. Definitely uh, respect that sign back throw for the cat. But so far, yeah, the, so far today, when the cat gets the first stock, he's just been playing really strong. Oh, but as I say, drifting way too deep off stage. Not able to come back. Still, great Texas there. He's getting the roll. Going Phoenix off stage. And now in the position where he can just hang back. See if my is going to approach. Uh, I did like how Phoenix used like, that up air from Sonic. This is one of his best areas. It's really quick. And uh, he uses speed to get under Lucina while she's jumping. That can be a really good uh, anti air. She can start some combos as well. Hit in there, not able to extend with the pair, but he's starting to get some, uh, some stuff here with the upper traps. Nice, up from the upper. Ooh, trying to get the spring extension. I, I always like to see Sonic go for that. Always nice to see uh, Sonic throwing a little uh, flashiness once in a while. And if you, know, you do stay next to him, you can sort of get like a back air, another double. Hanging back here, waiting for Phoenix to put himself in position. Maybe you know, the F smash. You see those smash attacks, you know, because this is damage all around the sword. You always gotta uh, suspect the threat of it, no matter where you get hit uh, in relation to the sword. Cat came at the ledge here. Phoenix is trying to buy his time. Power shift for power shift. Now again, back at the ledge. He's running cast been a really strong support. Great up air again. That move is such a, a good tool to draw the cross up shield. No, I actually don't think it's a punch cross shield. Down the wire here, though. Back to off stage. Not going to be enough. But. This is pretty scary. Oh, the spring hit, did he catch the double jump? Yeah. That was, uh... Did you see that? Yeah, I, I did, Larry. I just, just saw it. Nope. Whoa. <laughs> spring edge guard. But uh, yeah, that was really good for Phoenix. Um, throw him off stage, way out the air dodge, way out the little recovery, and time the spring just to catch that. Yeah, so, I don't know if, if you've mentioned this already, but Nikat said he was going to go all puff in uh, Lucina today. Okay. I've only seen him with he's, uh, Lucina on He's Lucina. a goddamn liar. Oh. Oh, he's Fox now. Nikat! <laughs> <laughs> looks at me. Well, I mean, earlier he said uh, 
he actually played Phoenix like at one of the sagas a while ago and he was able to beat him with Fox. But he, then he said he was going all Lucina. He said he was gonna go all Lucina and Puff. Yeah. And then then he does this. I mean, he's, he's trying to win. I don't know. When I say I'm going all one character, you know, I I stand by it. That's true. You you did go all Falco that wins that fight. So I am a man of my word. Pretty honest. But apparently the cat isn't. Uh <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like you shouldn't have uh, even believed it coming from the cat. Like, I feel like he always says he's just gonna like go all pub, all Lucina. I like, you know, I I want to believe in people. I don't know. I mean, I do know like he said that, but I also know he wants to go to these tournaments. To oh, oh, that was yeah, beautiful. That was, that was sick. Oh, I heard that was trying it was dirty, especially using the platform as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I know the cats here in SoCal to like try to grind like as much as possible too. So he's in a situation where he's like playing to win, especially in the two out of three. Like, I don't blame him going Fox. Yeah, no, I, I I agree. I agree with it. No, just, no, I just, <laughs> just don't think you should lie. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You got, you got your hopes up for Puff? Oh no, I'd, I'd rather him not go Puff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Ooh, that wouldn't have killed either way, even even if the second it connected. Um, so this matchup is actually not that bad. I would say if it's in anyone's favor, it's like slightly Fox, but it might be even. Yeah, a lot of people say this Fox does a great job of dealing with Sonic's approaches as he has lingering hitboxes and he out spin dash. And uh, once he starts to land, like good luck, you know, his Fox has so many ways to be trapped up. Yeah. Ooh, well, that was good. That was really good. So what Fox can do really well versus Sonic is he can beat out situations where, so where Sonic's not used to losing in. So like like mid-range is kind of like, I mean obviously Sonic still does the mid-range. Still does well in mid-range, but Fox can combat it. He can move around fast enough to right. avoid certain situations that most characters couldn't. Right, right. That's another thing outside of like uh, the hitboxes and the jungle uh, potential. Just, uh, Fox is like raw speed, like from his fastball and like on the ground, he can actually threaten Sonic. But most characters are like, man, Sonic's moving so fast, and I got react to all these things. All right, so game three, going to FD. Um, so traditionally, Sonic's like this stage. Um, it's good neutralized because the platforms kind of make it so that you have to confront spin dash more more often than not the downside in this, in this to the stage against box is that you have no landing options there's no platform to save right. and uh yeah that can help things out a lot just because even though it's not as crazy as box um, sonic does have really good juggle uh, options to, uh, to like yeah. maybe go under him like you know, like uh, landing traps uh, spin dash you know, combos Let's see if he's able to utilize that more. Right now, uh, really good uh, start from him. Almost got the pivot F smash on the landing there. That definitely would have killed the ledge. Whoa. Cat yeah. did the laser off stage. I definitely thought Phoenix was just going to go crazy. They like angle down F smash maybe. Yeah, yeah, he definitely can. It, it's hard. Uh, something that Fox can do that uh, I don't really think people bring up too much is that he can actually adjust the timing to which he grabs the edge. Um, when you up, do up B, if you hold down, because Fox's magnet is really big, if you hold down, you kind of, you, you won't magnet until you let go of down. Right. Oh, right. So you don't even have to choose. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was so, good. Yeah, you don't even have to choose to do uh, the overshoot either. You can just, like, slightly time it to you grab the ledge uh, just a little bit later. Yeah. But before, like, without going over the stage in the ledge. Yeah. And this is what I was talking about, well, not anymore. But yeah, he took 26%, couldn't really land. Ooh. Yeah, and that brown's like the third percent where he has to worry about jungles like this now. Mm -hmm. Cat's box. That had to be an accident, but it works. Yeah, I think most people um, choose to punish that by like spot dodging or just moving out of the way so he gets like the ground bounce from the attack. Yeah. Or he doesn't like bounce as far as he can uh, be like other smash or something. But yeah, the, the cats, when he has the stock lead, there's a. Uh, it's been really good. I always has been really good in that situation. Oh, I think he's yeah. just so good at just forcing his opponent to like throw things out and then he just keeps them at a, like a cat and mouse type of game. Yeah, and a cat can play really lame. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. <That> <laughs> I know, you're trying not to say yeah, it. I don't know. No, yeah. 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 <laughs> you played uh, Ice Climbers. Yeah, this should be it. <laughs> should be it. Uh,
So this isn't too bad for Phoenix. Honestly, he hasn't done it yet, but he might die. Oh, that's it. Man, he completely uh, took advantage of that. Yeah.